All right, so let's look at solving some uh, applications involving systems of equations. Uh, this is the first example. Uh, let's see, it looks like I've got, right now I've got five examples I'm going to work. I'm, they're each going to have their own video, and I may do even more than that. So uh, this won't be the only video that has applications, so check them out. They should all be right there together. All right. So let's look at this. So we want to find the sum of two numbers is 2. If one of the numbers is subtracted from the other, their difference is 8. Find the numbers. All right. So let's just let's do this. Let's say, OK, uh, x is equal to, let's just call it one number. Well, just like they do in the problem is one number and we'll call y the other number okay and that's what it says from the other okay if if one number which is x is set, subtracted from the other number we'll call that y all right and if you wanted to you could call x the first number y the second number it doesn't matter all right so what does it say it says the sum of these two numbers is 2. Okay, well, let's write that down. So the sum of the two numbers, so x plus y, that means add the two, that would give me 2 as an answer. And then it says if one number is subtracted from the other, okay, so one number is subtracted from the other, so, I mean, there's, it doesn't really matter how you, uh, do this, I could write x minus y equals 8, okay, but you know it does say if one number is subtracted from the other, so if you want to just really get technical about it, we can say this number is subtracted from this one, so that we would, we could write, um, uh, this one number here is subtracted from this one, so I have, would have y minus x. Okay, well, and let me show you. And, and look, if you left it x minus y, you're going to get the right answer too. Okay, so obviously I'm not going to write it y minus x because I want my x's and my y's to be lined up. So I'm going to write this as negative x plus y. Yeah, just just switched them. See, negative x plus y is the same thing as y minus x. Okay? And and look, after you watch the video, give it a try. See if, see if instead of this, you do x minus y. See if you get the same answer. Yeah, I mean, what you get for x will be different, and what you get for y will be different, but they're going to be the same numbers, okay, as what I'm going to get. And I, I, I'll explain that more at the end. All right, so now when we solve this, well, we can use substitution, we can use addition method. So actually, what we want to do here is what? <clears throat> well, we want to do the... Uh, addition method because look all we have to do is add the two okay so let's add them so that's going to give me what well the x's go out and y plus y is what 2y you see that equals 2 plus 8 is 10 and then if I solve this I'm going to divide each side by 2 and so I get y equals 5. Okay. Now I need to know what x is. Well, I'm just going to take this and plug it back into one of these equations. Well, we'll just plug it into this one. So I've got x equals, I'm sorry, x plus y, and y is 5, equals 2. And then I solve, subtract 5. And so I get x equal negative 3. So the two numbers 
are negative 3 and 5. Okay, now remember how I told you if you would have put x minus y alright so if you would have put I'm sorry if you would have written this as x minus y you would get the same answer except for you would have gotten this to be x and this would have been y okay that's the only difference it would have made but you would have gotten the correct numbers I mean look if you have x plus y equals 2 and x minus y equals 8 look 2x equals 10 see instead of 2y equals 10 you got 2x equal 10 so it's the same thing all right all right so I hope the video helped check out the other ones I'm gonna have at least uh, five of these done uh, in their own video I'll have at least five you know I'll do as many as I can you know try to find different types of problems so check those out check out my other videos give me a like share and subscribe thanks for watching